Shalom. First and foremost, all praises to Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the one true God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to send salutations to all the Akim throughout the four corners of the earth, exalting the name of Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. <laughs> all right. So this lesson is going to be about the kingdom of heaven. And um, in, in order for you to get the kingdom, you got to believe first, you know. So you got to really believe that Yahweh Shai came to his earth, was a teacher, a leader, and the ultimate sacrifice for our sins. And you got to believe that he is going to return and wreak havoc on your enemies and save you and deliver you. All that, all that together. <laughs> okay. On top of all that, you must repent for the kingdom of heaven is near. So you have to keep the laws at your commandments and teach also, teach your people. All right. So uh, with that being said, you know, the kingdom is prepared for us. But we have to work for the kingdom. The kingdom is is prepared. You know, the Lord prophesied it. He said it. And we just have to believe on that so that we can get it. But believing comes with action. Faith comes with action. All right? You have to act upon that. You have to do things that you say you're going to do. And do what is required of you. All right? Which is to be a servant for the Lord. All right? Uh, we labor into that rest. All right. You know, we are the servants of the Lord. We are Israelites. You know, this is the whole duty of man is to keep the law, statutes and commandments and follow the Lord. All right. But in order for you to get the kingdom, you got to believe. And that's where the direction is. This, this lesson is going. All right. So I want to um, bring out uh, two chapters in the Bible to go into that. All right, this is John 14, and I'm going to start at uh, 1. Let, your, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. All right, this is Yahweh Shai speaking. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. All right, so Yahweh Shai has said that there are many mansions in his father's house and he will go and prepare a place for you and he is he is not gonna lie so he said <laughs> if it were not so i would have told you but but it is though so there are many mansions in, the, in in our father's house and it's prepared for us the kingdom is prepared the table is set the wedding is set all right it's just time for the bridegroom to get his bride Everything is set for the elect, all right? And we are to put on as the elect. We are of the hopeful elect. So we are hoping, all right, and praying that uh, we be of that number. But in the meantime, we do the work, all right? Do the work, do, make videos, uh, witness and minister to people, uh, pray, repent. Spread this gospel as much as possible on the biggest platform, which is the internet. All right. Um, and flood the truth, man. And uh, hit the streets, teach on the streets. You know, do whatever we got to do to spread this gospel. All right. To our people who are without right now. All right. So the Lord said it, man. If it were not so, I would not. I would have told you. <laughs> and he said he was going to go prepare a place for you. All right. Now, this account over here in Luke with the two thieves on the cross. All right. The two men on the cross with the Lord. This is the account that goes to show that one believed and the other did not. That there were many mansions and that he could get the kingdom because he asked and he believed. All right. That man believed. So the Lord gave it to him. Yahweh Shai. 
this is Luke 23 and 39. It says, and one of the male factors which were hanged uh, railed on him saying, if thou be Hamashiach, save thyself and us. But the other answering rebuked him saying, dost not thou fear God, seeing thou art in the same uh, condemnation? It says, and we indeed justly and we indeed uh, justly for we receive the due reward of our deeds but this man doeth none does none does none does done nothing amiss of Sakia alright so he this man right here is owning up to his, his wrongs he said man we did wrong but he did not this man did not do nothing wrong but we did so the both of us are wrong we deserve to be up here, but he does not. So he's owning up to his responsibility and and and, and owning up to his uh, you know, what I'm saying his uh, his own uh, wicked deeds. All right, verse forty two. It says, and he said unto Yahweh Shai, uh, Lord, remember me when thou comest into the kingdom. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, Verily I say unto thee. Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. So with that being said, because that man believed and asked, he has a chance to get in paradise. He's in paradise. He's going to be in paradise. Why? Because the Lord had mercy upon him. He said that. He could do that. All right. The man repented, but the other guy did not. He didn't repent. He scoffed. He rebelled, all right? But the one did. He believed that there were many mansions. He believed in paradise. He believed that he was the son of man. He believed that he was the Messiah, all right? He believed that um, he was the son of God, all right? He believed in Yahweh Shai. So because of that, he got the kingdom. So you got to believe before you can get the kingdom. And you actually have to do. Because there was more than one thing that this man did. This man repented. He repented right there. He admitted that he was wrong. All right. He got forgiveness. Right there. And he made it into the kingdom. Right there on the cross. So with that, all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai.